Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where today, news has arrived to us here in the laboratory about a very interesting genetic experiment that has been going on in a national park where a little pup has gotten loose and has run into Hope the Grey Wolf. And this is going to be very exciting, my friends, because it will finally be a time where we shall understand the story behind the two crossbreeds that we are going to be, uh, observing as their genes mix and match to create some curious crossbreed crossovers. Uh, and I know you guys love been really missing a lot of the story. So here we are with Hope the Grey Wolf, who is actually one of the loner females who has been wandering around the edges of her national park territory for quite a while. And it seems that a very irresponsible set of campers a few months ago left behind Little Pixie! The miniature boodle! And Pixie has just been living his best life, running wild and being extremely adventurous. Apparently he hasn't been put out whatsoever to be now a wild stray dog roaming along the edges of a park. And he happened to have stumbled upon... Hope. Just at the right time. The two of them managed to click. Hope has always had a little bit of a more gentle heart, after all. She likes soft, fluffy things, usually to eat. But there's something about the extremely smart, vocal, and very adventurous nature of Little Pixie, who in is indeed a little male pup, that she just kind of fell for. And so rumor has it that any moment now, we are going to be able to sit back and watch as their pups are going to be born. And I'm really looking forward to this mix because Pixie is going to have that really fun curly fur so I'm kind of I'm keeping an open mind open mind on this I would kind of like to see the gray wolf fur coloring mixed with pixie's curly fur and maybe some floppy eared wolves that's my current goal of like fingers crossed that's what we'll see from this mix and match of different genes and as always friends we're going to be naming their puppies after you guys using the random comments from our previous episodes so if you would like to become a Min Pin Wolf Crossover. What are we gonna name those? Like mini woodles? <gasps> mini woodles! I love it! We're gonna make some woodles, you guys! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> All right, so if you guys want to become future mini woodles, then all you need to do is leave a comment down below and we will add you into the random comments generator to see if it will pick you next time. So without further ado, let's creep ourselves over in our little field biology outfits. Let's sit down with a pair of binoculars and let's watch as now that the weeks have passed, their first litter of puppies is going to be coming out with hope at their side. You guys ready for this? All right, so let's go ahead and start crossing them over. This will hopefully be just a really cute, straightforward kind of mix that will give us curly puppies! Oh! Flop-eared black puppy! How beautiful! Oh my goodness! Look at you, little one! Hello, hello, and welcome! And we are actually going to name this little one after one of the Wings of Fire dragon varieties because that is something so many of you guys are talking about in our previous video. And Peyton and several of the other of you happened to list off several of the different types, mud wing, sand wing, sky wing, sea wing, night wing, rain wing, ice wing, and then hive wing, silk wing, and leaf wing. Holy moly, it does sound like I'm going to have a lot to dig through in order to understand more about dragons. My young niece will be so extremely excited if I read her favorite book series. Uh, and we're also going to name this little one, how about Nightwing? A little bit of a cop out because she, you know, she's the color black, but still, I think that that's kind of cute. I love her little eyes too. I wonder what she's going to look like when she grows up, if she's going to be big or small. It's always fun when you're like working with two animals who have completely different sizes. All right, let's go ahead and see what her personality is going to be. My dear, you cannot produce dairy unless you have some sort of mountain goat history I'm not, like, familiar with. But she's going to be a vocal, loyal sleuth. There you go, cutie patootie. There, all right. So Hope has pushed the first pup out of the den. Let's go ahead and see what the next one's going to be. And I have my notepad beside me in case some of you guys... Oh, wow! Look at what kind of wolf this would be. Okay, that's not the one that the, the genes are crossbreeding, but that's a really cool looking future wolf pup. Can you imagine with those blind eyes? Heck! But all right, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. I have my field note notepad right next to me in order to keep notes of any of the cool crossbreed suggestions you guys have been leaving behind. And now we have, oh, look at you. Wow! This is a very tan 
Lone Wolf, and this is actually going to be Mallory. Mallory, welcome. Welcome to the family. You look like you take completely after your mother. I'm going to, like, eat those words in a second when she ends up being a small dog, but still. All right. Mallory, you are actually a vocal, adventurous, jumpy little pup who does look a lot like your dad, actually. You share a lot of his personality, too, huh? Hmm, so we're gonna keep an eye on that for sure. And Mallory, I'm so glad that you enjoy these videos. That really does warm my heart to see. A little random comment generator. Oh, that would be a beautiful wolf, too. And this one's actually going to be... <gasps> Whoa! Smoke! Wow! I was not expecting this patterning at all! So this is going to be a little smoke named after Black Wolf Smoke, who says that your dog can open the dog gate because she just digs right under it. That's freaking hilarious. That would be a handful. That reminds me of a Vishla my family was fostering for a little while when I was a very young, itty bitty little wee child before the internet, if you can believe that. Uh, and she actually could like open doors and sneak out windows. If you left them cracked, she would just like shove herself through the window frame. Quite the handful, that one. But Smoke is a couch potato who's aggressive. Oh, she's not going to let anybody mess with her. And a vocal. Wow, I love the, the like of color variety we're ending up with the puppy so far. This is really cool. Like, I think that little Pixie is probably like singing and howling and super proud of his pups. All right, let's go ahead and see what the last three are going to be. All right, pulling up the next one. We're going to just tumble right out of the den, eager and excited to play with their parents. And this is, oh, look at those eyes. This is actually going to be Indigo. Indigo, welcome, little guy. There we go. Leela, thank you so much for suggesting the name Indigo. He cannot produce milk. However, he can be a friendly, adventurous, and loyal little pup who seems to be ready to go ahead and help out his pack however he can. Look at how cute he is. Wow, these are just like really fun colors for these little ones. All right, let's see. We've got two left. Two left to see. Oh, wow. You know, Hope would really produce a lot of really good wolf mixes. We probably need to go ahead and find more future crossbreeds we could try to mix together. And this one's going to be Harper! Harper, you look so much like your dad! But you have the wolf eyes! Wow! You know, normally we're like, we want more exotic colorations, but it feels like this time around we're getting some really beautiful colors. Alright, so this is going to be Harper. There we go. And Harper, you cannot produce wool. However, you can be a troublemaker. Oh dear, who's also going to be jumpy? Oh, why did I bring that on myself? All right, who's going to be a... <laughs> okay, Harper is a handful. Harper is going to be a troublemaker who is jumpy and a couch potato. Mixing all those things together is definitely enough to be a huge handful. So with that said, let's go ahead and see what the very last of this litter is going to be. Perhaps Pixie's beginning to feel a little overwhelmed, but something tells me that he's just going from pup to pup, sniffing them with pride. I, I really love the way Smoke looks. I'm very eager to see if Smoke ends up being a big dog or a small dog. That's going to be a fun mix. And let me pull up the random- oh my gosh! I was literally about to say, you know, we didn't get that many people suggesting different mixes this time around. Uh, I take those words back because, hang on one second, guys. Because we have none other than Azalea Leaf. And Azalea Leaf, oh my goodness. Azalea Leaf, you, my dear, are going to be a jumpy glutton who is a loyal, and you suggest Griffin and Dingo mixes, Dingo and Dragon mixes, Dingo and Finnick Fox mixes, Dingo and King Cheetah, Llama and Dingo, Fox and Bunny, Griffin and Bunny, and Griffin and Llama. All right, that reminds me, we had somebody in the comment section a little bit ago who was very adamantly excited about doing a bunch of llama crossbreeds. Now I'm starting to get excited about doing llama crossbreeds. We're gonna have so much laboratory excitement going on. Keep those like suggestions coming, you guys. Sometimes when I'm bored and I'm just kind of needing a little bit of inspiration, where I'm like, all right, Siri, I know you're tired, but come on, you wanna dive into the lab. You wanna be able to do something fun. And just a few minutes of fun is for me, honestly, refreshing a whole bunch of your guys' comments and 
our various videos from our laboratory experiments and seeing your creativity and curiosity come out from mixing all sorts of different animal uh, like breeds especially when you suggest why you want to mix like this desert animal with this animal who lives in the jungle and what kind of traits you think their pups might have well i say pups cough cough but you know what i mean what kind of traits their crossbreeds would have of course so thank you for that it really is super inspiring for me to be able to see all of your curiosity and it's also very rewarding pixie to be able to see how our curiosity between this <laughs> miniature poodle and wolf as they make mini woodle puppies eh eh <laughs> oh, but it's rewarding to see how our curiosity with that mix is going to play out so all right let's go ahead and start growing them up nightwing you're up first <gasps> Nightwing, you're so big! You're so big! Look at those ears! Oh no, she reminds me so much of Nightwing <laughs> from How to Train Your Dragon. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, we'll have a lot of fun with maybe doing the How to Train Your Dragon dragons too. Kalino did create some amazing mods that actually brought them to life, so we will be sampling those and kind of playing around with them as well. Holy cow! All right, Nightwing, you like have bat, like I wonder if she likes bats. I wonder if she's like, they have big ears like I do, or like big wings like I do on her little ears. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's it. I think Nightwing, this Nightwing really likes bats. They've got big ears, she's got big ears. Their wings remind her of her ears. Maybe they like to ride around on her ears for all we know. Why not? The, the, the dog is like a, a wolf, a mini woodle. It, and if she wants to be able to hang out with bats, I'm going to allow that. The story continues. But right, Mallory, let's go ahead and see. Are you going to be a big wolf or are you going to be a little mini woodle? Woodle it is! We have our first moodle friends! She may look absolutely adorable, like you just want to scrunch her face and offer her some dog treats, but rest assured, she is actually extremely adventurous and she has the heart of a wolf within her. Mallory, you're adorable. She also has a much richer color texture than we normally see on a lot of our crossbreeds. I'm kind of curious if that came from the wolves or if that came from the min pen. So we might have to, or excuse me, the mini poodle. So we might have to continue to uh, explore those genetics for sure. I love her little ears too. Like she's really determined and she looks like she could chase down any rabbits that you exposed her to. All right, Smoke, are you going to be a wolf or woodle? Let us know. <laughs> We have another wolf! A perfect complement to Nightwing's big old ears. I think this is gonna work out really well, actually. Yeah! Smoke! I could totally see Smoke as the white wolf and Nightwing as the black wolf just running side by side as they continue to explore the land uh, with their ears flapping in the wind, perhaps. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see how Indigo turns out. Indigo has big ears, dark eyes, very similar to Smoke, actually has a darker nose. But are you going to be a wolf or woodle? <gasps> Indigo! You're a wolf! But what a wolf! Oh, I think this is my favorite one yet, you guys. Look at the fur! We finally have our curly furred wolf! Okay. Indigo, I love this. I also love how Indigo literally from head to toe kind of ended up having black everywhere. You've got black eyes, you've got the black nose, you've probably got like the black paw pads. Can I check? Yep, you've even got the black paw pads. Like what a cool, cool wolf. Wolf Woodle. Definitely not a, a mini Woodle, but definitely very fascinating. I wanted that so badly. Thank you very much, Indigo. All right, Harper, you're up next with those sweet wolf eyes. Very intelligent looking. Ha ha! And we have another Woodle! Another little mini Woodle! Ready to go ahead and cause a lot of trouble and chaos, actually. I could totally see him slipping in between the legs of his siblings and kind of stealing a little bit of their kill and dashing off before they could do anything about it. Harper, you're a handful. And then finally, we have Azalea Leap, who suggested so many of those fascinating crossbreeds for the future. And Azalea Leap, my dear, wolf or woodle? <gasps> Another woodle! And actually one with a smooth fur, a long fluffy tail, and definitely has a little bit more of that like compact wolfiness around them, just like their mother, Hope. All right, guys, I'm very happy with this. I think I'm, I'm happiest with Indigo because that's just such a fascinating mix of genes. Even Indigo's nose kind of has this like noble little profile to it. 
I, I love being able to see the curly fur on an unexpected dog. But this was really fun! Oh, thank you guys. Sometimes I just need a quick little reset with some of the curiosity and adventures that we do here in the lab. So, if you guys could, do please leave some comments with the lots more mixes that we could work with in the future. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!